We're back with another Infinite Flight tutorial. My name is Tyler and today we're talking about some advanced tower techniques. We'll go over arrivals, transitions, and formation flights. So to start this session we have Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango on the right side of your screen. He's inbound for landing. So we're going to go and tell him to enter a left base for runway 22. Now he does not require a sequence because he's the only person that we're talking to and at this time he's number one to the airport. Now, if you're working arrivals for tower, it's extremely important that you understand the basic legs of a traffic pattern. And this is going to allow you to quickly decide where you want aircraft to enter your pattern. The next person that calls me is Southwest here on the right side of your screen. Now, based on his speed and the speed of Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango, I'm not quite sure how this is going to play out yet. So we're going to go and tell Southwest just to continue inbound. And there's nothing wrong with simply telling him to continue inbound and seeing how the situation evolves, and then you can make a better decision Southwest off of that. 800, 800, so we've told him continue inbound, and then the next person we want to talk to is November 16 Sierra Whiskey Papa. Now based on his location, I'm going to tell him to enter a right base for runway 22. I know for a fact that he's going to be number 3, and so we'll go and tell him number 3, traffic to follow is on left base. November As our situation with the first two aircraft evolves, I'm going to decide that Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango is going to be number one. And the way I can ensure that is by telling him to maintain best forward airspeed so that I know he's going to stay ahead of Southwest. The next thing I want to do is tell Southwest to enter a left base, number two, traffic to follow is on final. So now everyone understands who they're following and everyone has been given a specific point in the pattern to enter. So we have November 16 here, Whiskey Papa, number three on right base. We have Southwest on left base and then flight cast is going to be number one on final. The next thing I want to talk about is transitions and flight of two on infinite flight. November 172 Hotel Victor Yankee flight of two is requested to transition. I'm going to approve it by saying transition approved at or above 3,500. On infinite flight, you must request the transition with the tower if you're going to be passing within five miles of the airport and within tower's airspace. So we'll take a look at how we can actually figure out what tower's airspace looks like. So first let's just talk about what a transition is actually going to look like from the aircraft's point of view. The aircraft is going to be passing over the airport and the purpose of a transition is to allow an aircraft to pass through the tower's airspace without having to go above or around. So if we look at a map like this we can see that an aircraft could just fly straight through all of these airspaces as long as they've requested a transition. Now on infinite flight we can find the airspace by looking in the top right corner of our map screen after selecting the airport and it tells us that the airport is from surface to 3,100 feet. Now if you're flying through that airspace you need to request a transition if you're going to be within 5 miles and anywhere from the field elevation to 3,100 feet. Next let's jump into Flight of Two. Flight of Two is an aircraft that are flying in formation and the important thing to remember is that whether it's a flight of two, four, or even six it counts as one single aircraft when giving instructions, and you should only be talking to the flight lead, which we'll look at a little bit more as the tutorial goes on. The next thing I want to do is talk to Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango, and I'm going to clear him for the option. Now the reason I'm clearing him for the option is because I'm not sure whether he wants to land or whether he wants to remain in the pattern. So by clearing an aircraft for the option, you're allowing him to do a full stop, or he can do a touch and go, or a stop and go, or even a low approach. So right now, without having to request his intentions, I can just clear him for the option, and I know that we're okay. After clearing Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango, I want to go back and start clearing the rest of my arrivals since they've all been sequenced. So first we're going to talk to Southwest, and we're going to tell him, number two, clear for the option, after the option, make right traffic. Now the reason I want him to make right traffic is I know that by the time he's on the go, my transition is going to be on the opposite side of the airport. So this is just a way to be a little proactive and avoid potential conflicts that are ultimately unnecessary if you plan ahead. So we fast forward a little bit, and the next person we can talk to is November 16 year Whiskey Papa. We'll go and clear him for the option. He's number three, and after the option, he can make right traffic with the same thing in mind, November, avoiding conflict with our transition. Number three, runway two two, cleared for the option. Looking at our transition, we can see that the flight of two is passing overhead of the airport, remaining at or above 3,500 as instructed. November, Remember, if an aircraft is within five miles of the airport and passing through towers airspace, they need to request a transition. 
Now, keeping in mind that Flight of Two is treated as one aircraft, November 172 Hotel Victor Yankee requests inbound for a touch and go. We're going to go and tell him enter left downwind, runway 22, number three, traffic to follow is on final. Now, with the spare time, I want to check and make sure that flight cast is going to be off the runway prior to my arrival crossing of the threshold. The last thing I need to do is clear the Flight of Two for the option. Remember, I'm only giving instructions to the lead aircraft, but those instructions apply to all aircraft in the flight. So to finish this tutorial, let's take a look at what a flight of two is going to look like on final and as they're landing. They can either be side by side or sometimes a half mile to a mile and trail. As our flight of two lands, we can go and wrap up our advanced tower tutorial. For more videos like this one, subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. My name's Tyler, and we'll see you next time.